Close is gonna farm, then you're gonna have to see that void spirit really gun everywhere. That's also where five man might have support quite yet, but the ember spirit off to a great start. 20. Well, bottom lane, they lose the drow. I don't know why I bothered looking at mid lane. I knew no heroes would die there, but uh, we did get one of the kills. First blood go. So, unless you're getting that fix, you're just not doing anything. I think Lumi might be looking for a deny on under tower. Oh, He's kind of might just get skyward again. But... Yeah. Or oh, Argus, turn on close. him. They'll turn on to Dismar. He has mana for a soul assumption in one, and he gets the kill on to Luna. As a Nango just didn't want it. Gotcha. Yeah, he used both of them, so I thought maybe Nangofo would have gone for the dive there, but I think possibly fearing the TPs and knowing underneath tower, of course, you get the additional armor, so Slate wouldn't have done as much damage, but yeah, he just had to do that, nuked away, but now there's going to be a cart wave under the tower here. Ah, okay. Gonna be forced back to base once again here. Meanwhile, deep in the jungle, the remnant in here from Nango Flow gets the chains out onto the Enchantress as the Drow helps with that assist and Skyward. It should just be a matter of time here. Yeah, one more side of fist, a double kill for the Ember, and he is having a fantastic game. I mean, I feel like I've just been saying every hero on Ravens is having a fantastic game. Decent chunk of Mars. There's certain times where I'm like, I wouldn't be able to do that again. Like, it, like in missing certain spears or like splitting between certain trees. I'm like, the amount of skill it took to miss that spear is, is incredible. Mid, Mid lane, oh, they've no, got the, the doom. doom. They drop it onto the void spirit. That's all you need. And it's one of those things where this early in the game is something really annoying about not having the uh, the mana aura and then having to get a full multi shot with the arrows going as Hoodwink ties mid, but. No, it's a close call, but I think that's also where one sad gets his BKB, though, oh, the boy. game is done for him. Remember we said last time about Doom having a really early blink dagger? Well, he has another early blink dagger, and RRL finding that first hand as Dismar gets him with the Doom right away. Dismar, whoa. He just jumps in, doesn't care. Mars gets the arena, will pin that Doom into the wall. Flies, falling low and fast, but can they even finish off the Doom? They need one more auto attack, and they do get it. They're gonna chase for more as they take down the Hoodwink. Skyward running all the way back to the base. Bambi will make it out. Well, maybe yeah, he'll make it out. Just giving you the active, which is kind of like just a get out of jail free card, but it works. It kind of just allows him to play so he like heavily on the front line, kind of just baiting in these fights. We'll see him doing exactly that. The whole spell kick comes out, but he doesn't get the Gravekeeper's Cloak off this time. And now Nango Flow, he does have an Aegis to play with. Dismar Blink Doom comes in, finds RRL. He's out, but there's going to be Eclipse from the Luna. The BKB already spent Spirit, will catch the Ember Spirit, and they manage to take a great fight on the side of Five Man Midas, as now they have to find more. Will they be able to get their hands on? Spirit moves, but it is great for the Luna. It gives him, you know, a little bit more damage to play around with, but... At the same time, you know. Oh, the bird! Oh. It catches Mars just barely in a nice gust there to try and set this one back. Sharpshooter comes through, does some work, but there's the arena now trapping them in place. But the BKBs come in response. Lies able to force staff himself out for the moment, but it's going to be RL on the backside trying to do what he can to take down Dismar. He will get it, but it's causing them so much. They've lost two. RL falls anyway. Uh a little bit far forward here they're trying to get some control of these supports but again without a mars blink it's all up to the void spirit and he's got to use at least two jumps that sharpshooter did not do nearly as much damage as i would have expected but of course wraith pack plus the Cape, pretty good they find the doom the arena there big eclipse coming through from the luna as well they're gonna be able to grab both supports but they need to get more Will they be able to do it? They're chasing after Benjaz. He's still got that Gravekeeper's Cloak, but they don't have the chain stun. Nope. He's going to put himself down. Argus with BKB. Skyward going to do the same, but Nango Flow able to chase him down. Gets him with the Slide of Fist, but it's back onto the Visage. Drow just hitting the Bulwark here. Not doing a ton to this Mars. Can they finally bring down Benjaz? He gets away, but the Boomerang to finish him off. And now Dad's BKB expiring. Five Man Midas taking the dream fight for them. Type of big initiation. Nango Flow is just playing with his food. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you might have played with the. Oh no, Lumi! Oh, Lumi just holding that sharpshooter way too long. That was the. What? He he died. There's smoked up here on Ravens. He's gonna walk right on in. Lies gets caught for the moment. The BKB comes through from both Nango's blow and Dismar. Lies. He doesn't have one available. 
And now they're just trying to get away. Age is going to be reclaimed. RG is holding his ground. Going to be forced upon the BKB, but he's just disarmed for the moment. They do take down the Doom. There's going to be the Eclipse as they try to get on top of Vengeance, but there's going to be the Stone Form to protect him. And Kara comes in with the Freezing Field, just chewing right through the Void Spirit. Gets the Dissimulate away, but there's going to be the Drown. Able to slow them down just for a little bit in the Slight Chains. Catches the Luna, and Argus goes down without buyback as Skyward, the next target in their sights. He manages to take down the Ember. A lot of damage coming through from Skyward in these fights, but now, now um, Yeah, they, uh, wait a minute. The arena, it got tossed. Okay. Well, BKBs, I suppose, from both heroes. If they can take this fight, the Luna would be really happy, but a huge multi-shot in from Dad, just shredding them, and there it is. The Eclipse comes through, but oh. the Luna absolutely destroyed by this Drow Ranger. BKB does oh, not matter if you just have that physical damage and they will just burn her down here on the Hoodwink. They managed to take four for one. And like we said, like it is going to be getting more and more difficult. You find Dismar Spear off the mark again here from Lies. He's going to be forced that BKB. Gets the Halberd off onto the Doom and a perfect time to start, uh, push back there from Rumi. Will at least allow them to take down the Doom. Uh, this would be a nice pick for RL. He's going to try Lotus Orb, protecting him for the moment. Jumps in, misses on Remnant. Spear missing as well. And lies even BKBing for this. I think he's just dead now. He's going to try. Drops the arena to try and give him some space. But and they just chew right through him. Multishot does not care about the arena. While the Enchantress just bursted thanks to the Crystal Maiden. I think Lies. Uh, There's no way to approach this next team fight. Absolutely not. And the thing is, is like the Luna can't even like drop the harassment with like the, the sh like the old shard, right? It's just loose and beam damage, which doesn't really matter all that much. Visage speared up against the wall. There's gonna be a nice bushwhack as well. Oh, but no. your Mars just die backing. Sharpshear doesn't connect again, and that is just mega creeps. Very low commitment from Ravens once again, but they're just getting everything they want. They're also gonna find RL here, but. Let's get the Dissimilate out. Dismar BK being for this. Looking for his Doom target. Argus trying to do what he can. A nice jump on in from the Void Spirit, but he just gets held in place thanks to the Crystal Maiden. He's going to buy back, but Benjaz, he's looking for more. His attention on the Enchantress here. A lot of magic burst damage, but it's just the multi shot to finish him off. Mango Flow finally be forced to BKB, but he's got a refresher. He's going to pop that. And Hoodwink. You are alone, friend. The wrong neighborhood. And with that, GG comes out. Ravens take a very convincing game number one here over five-man Midas. Yeah. And, of course, you know, it, it's tough to say whenever you get pretty much every single row. Anybody near a tower is not safe in this game. And, I don't know, seeing Primal Beast with farm, it's just going to be fun. Talons or feels like Bane, but that's kind of what it's like. And they hit level two, and okay. Yeah, that's the, the go time. That is an easy kill onto Lies thanks to that kinetic field. And first blood into the hands of the Terra Blade. You are always happy about that. Color the cart. Yeah. I always wanted the Techies Arcana, but... It also used to change the color of one of the mines, didn't it? It did. I see. I like Me. just being an elephant now. It's cheaper, Top too. Lane. Uh. Top lane. Oh, Dismar is in super deep here. It's only a matter of time, I think, before they find the kill. Bushwhack is available. He ends up turning it around onto the hoodwink, but just breaks the salve for that one. We weren't meeting, but now that you are level 6 on that DK, Get the pressure going a little bit more. Of course, it is DK versus a guy with a bottle, so you're going to see that rotation for the runes here in Skyward. Uh, All right, Dragon Tail. Damage out onto the Disruptor, but of course, there's that uh, Pulverize to come through from the Primal Beast, and they will take down one as they turn their attention on over to the DK. Nango Flow doesn't really have many spells left, as he's just going to walk it back towards the mid lane. And of course, top lane, there is that Illusion Rune as they were unable to take it. Playing the big bad primal beast, but a ward did scout on the questions. Can Argus even get matters. out of here? <laughs> Ooh, there's your pulverize on top of him. Great bushwhack, but you're right, it didn't matter. The damage there, the DK comes in, hits that dragon tail, but they're just gonna turn their attention again. Just distract play there. Dismar is soaking it for his team as the rest of them will be able to get that interaction. As they're gonna be able to chase a little bit more, but RL just too much magic damage. Has to back on out. Yeah, yeah pressing literally down. anything during Onslaught will cancel it. 
but black hole top they killed oh, the gyro yeah. again and they get the gyro again lumi ends up trading Cute. there has a sharp shooter coming through they end up canceling a tp i believe here to the top lane and it's gonna allow benjaz just tp home kill again and actually you need even more oh, damage good to kill primal tree beast. there and that's the thing you're playing into a disruptor you make a little bit of an overextension if you don't be able to secure that kill they will punish you for it stolen uh solar guardian interesting able to keep lumiere alive but skyward just comes in he's gonna regret that one as the trample will finish him off they've caught rrl in the mid lane there's the black hole from ben jazz they i mean they just don't hold back like i don't know who they fight into bottom lane Death Prophet finds a kill there on Takara, but Bismarck comes in. Might regret. Oh, no, he's definitely not regretting it. There's Nango Flow. He's got an Arcane Rune on this usage, but there's going to be a decent chunk of damage coming in from Argus. They actually got to get him. He has the Aegis. Dismar is here. Skyward with a Trample. Not quite as effective. Sir, you don't have as much damage. And uh, he's going to show him how it's really done here. Oh, double kill. Okay. Gets the trade, you know. I... After activating onslaught, just instantly cancels the ability. Black hole in one. Watch Black the enigma. Indeed. They're trying Dang. to bait this out. Big silence coming through, though. They're still holding a mango, uh, mango float in place. So there's just no damage to get on top of them. Instead, they just go ahead and black hole the dragon knight. Why not? Dragon tail does come out. He's managed to survive this long. Skyward on the backside, pulverizing Dismar. Able to survive for the moment, but finally does go down. And Dragonite is now chasing from Arbor. He's going to go right into the hands of the Terra Blade instead. And we'll be able to pick that one up pretty easily. Glimpse here from the Death Prophet. Ooh, nice bushwhack to save him. Dismar. A bit, but as long as their main three continue to make the correct decisions and don't get too greedy with their builds, then the it's going to be very Midas. difficult. They're going to get gonna right on, on top of the Terra Blade. This is the perfect kill if they can get it, but the Manta Dawn... Oh, he didn't even Dragon Tail, actually. RRL in some trouble here. Is smart, just stunned underneath everything. They're going to continue the chase here with the BKB from Lies, but big Static Storm holding two in place, and the BKB from Nango Flow is able to just take down the Gyro. And the Glimpse able to try and save the Death... or save the Terra Blade from the Death Prophet for now. He's got to be able to find himself a Sunder target, and he will just use it... Nicely done. Primal Beast pushed away. Heroes falling one by one as the Scotty gets delivered for the Terror Blade and Skyward. Not gonna be able to TP on home as the Glimpse will be there to camp here. They've got pretty much everything on the five-man Midas side. I don't think they look for this play mid though. I feel like they should drag this engagement down towards bottom to run Ravens through their vision, but maybe they get car for free. Oh, or the not. jump in! Nango Flow catches four! Huge Static Storm as well. They're just all dead! Dude, that couldn't have been worse. You're like, oh, maybe they're going to get a good catch onto the Disruptor, but nope. There's wow. a monster just running through your team. Yeah, the dog just goes through the cruncher. Unfortunately, it wasn't anything more as bottom, though. Yeah, Might have picked right. on the Dismar, perhaps. Maybe, very but in comes Dad, and he is oh. very strong. Nice. Halberd there will catch the right Terror Blade, but there's gonna be a Glenn pulling him right back in. Demon Zeal, very scary on the melee form of the Terror Blade as Nango Flow will finish off RRL, and Dan was looking for Lumi, but he's not gonna find him, so instead just gonna clean up the wave and continue pushing this tour. There's just no way to get into this fight, and they know there's no Glyph for another minute here or so, so this is just free damage. Yeah. Baby meta cast here by Rubik. They're gonna do what damage they can. The trample will instantly pop that tree, but they get the sharpshooter after the dragon tail. Terribly managing to stay alive through this. They will take down the tier three tower. And of course the Sunder back onto his own ally as lies in some trouble here. Dad just chases right after him with the four staff. Doesn't care. Dragon Tail does come out into the call down. Argus trying to do what he can, but Terribly is still alive. And there's the black hole from Ben Jazz. You thought you might be able to bring down the Terra Blade once, but you would be fooled as it's just going to be a five hero wipe and the GG comes out. Yeah, tough game for five men Midas. They really weren't able to do very much here. They don't have their normal player stand in situation versus what has become the front runner of the tournament here.